Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I'm Steve Shaw. This is a channel that actually lifts. Yes, indeed, I do actually lift weights. You'll have to excuse me, guys. I got a cold. Haven't been sleeping much lately. Been traveling for family to see the family, so I'm a little bit under the weather. But today I wanted to give you guys a tip, one single tip that you can implement to try to improve your bench press numbers. And this is... um. This is uh, something I've found that's extremely effective over the years, and once you're gonna, once you hear it, and once you implement it, it's gonna seem obvious. But more than any other lift, the bench press to me responds to volume increases. So if you're struggling on the bench press, I recommend that you implement some form of volume increase. Now, when I say volume increase, I don't want you just to do anything radical like tripling the amount of sets you're using or tripling the amount of reps you're using, I want you to kind of creep your volume up just a little bit, maybe by 20, 25%, maybe 50% max. There's different ways you can do it, guys. You can uh, you can either increase the number of reps per set you're using. A lot of guys get trapped in like a 3x5 or 5x5, five five and they make decent progress, but it slows. And I'm not saying these types of programs are ineffective by any means, but if you're in this type of program and your bench is slowing, I recommend taking it up to something like a 5 by 10. Now, the numbers I'm tossing out are just generic. They're just, uh, you know, you could work with any rep range. There's nothing magical about what I'm tossing out. I'm just saying, just showing you, you can increase the volume, uh, rep volume. So you could go from like a 3 by 5 or 5 by 5 to something like a 5 by 10 or a 5 by 10 to 12. Now, that's for rep increases. You could also do something like, um, you know, set increases. If you're doing a 5x5, five five, you can maybe bump that up to an 8x5. You could bump it up and add a little bit more, um, more set work. You could also increase the number of uh, sets or reps you're doing on your assistance work, especially triceps. I have found that the triceps is a, is a muscle that can take a lot of pounding and it particularly can take a lot of a lot more pressing pounding than say pounding on like extensions like skull crushers or overhead dumbbell extensions if i do too much of the skull crusher skull crusher extension type of movement i tend to you know pick up some sore elbows some tender elbows whatever so you can also increase your volume on your assistance work so like after your bench presses are done you could do, um, say, close grip benches or single arm dumbbell bench presses, something like that. And then you can move on and, um, you know, maybe do something, uh, you know, to get some uh, hypertrophy work in, uh, some additional hypertrophy work now that the heavy compounds are done, like machine chest press or, you know, stuff like that. And then you could round out with some uh, more tricep stuff, like you could, you know, do your skull crushers. And then you could, um, you know, maybe this this week, for example, I did like an 8x10 on rope cable tricep extensions just to uh, hammer it with volume. So whatever exercise you like for triceps and chest as your assistance work or for as your assistance work for your bench press, you could bump the volume up a little bit, especially for that chest work or for those bench press movements. So guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, guys, there's a link to a Q&A below. Come on over, post your question in that q and I answer every question posted there. Um, if you have any questions on this video, I'd be glad to answer them in that Q&A. And guys, if you made it this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I would appreciate the support. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.